Hi ladies, um, today the weather is just horrible, it's raining and everything and um, yesterday I got soaking wet and cold and I booked today off from work, I didn't book any clients in um, this week um, on this particular day, Thursday, thinking yeah, I'll get some more work done, <laughs> oh blow me down. So, what I've decided to do, I'm going to take you shopping. I'm going in Sligo and I'm going to get a buzz, a dog bed. So, I'm going to look for a dog bed and get a few bits. So, you might as well come with me shopping. Okay, see you in a mo. Right, we're on our way to Sligo. We're just coming down our lane now and it's absolutely lashing. As you can see behind me, I've got the branches on the wall. I'll show you how to do to do that one of the days. Um, I've also got, you can see these plants here. These um, are dried and I've put those in the salon as well. They're out in the garden, so I'll show you what plant that was from. Very easy to do and they're fantastic. They're long, as you can see, and they've got like twisty, leaves on them and they look they look really effective get the witch up there and everything so yeah they look really effective and it gives because they dark they dry black it gives it that lovely uh feel to it you know halloweeny feel you could put it you could put them in um say large vases in your house or anything like that i've done that before in the other salon that i had I had them in a large vase uh, as a decorative. Oh, and I made that look out. I'll show you how I did that another time. That's the salon. Um, I hope you like it. It's something different. I like decorating it for um, all my clients, all my ladies. So I do something different throughout the year. It's constantly uh, changing. It's the rain's just stopping at the moment but there's lots of floods on the road we've hit some floods already some big floods so all country lanes where we are is a lovely area even the salons in a rural area um, a country uh, salon so i mean i can see sheep and horses from the salon window <laughs> There's a big flood down the road down there. I don't know if we'll be able to get through it. Now, this car seems to be chancing it. So I'm just gonna film him, see what happens. Hold on, let me just film this now and see what happens. Is he getting through it? We were thinking of going a different way around. Vincent's jerking the car while doing three point turn. He's going through very slowly. I know it's gonna get deeper there. No, he's reversing. He's coming out. He's not chancing it. So, there we go. We've turned round and we're off again. We're having so much more water these days coming at us. And you can see that from around the house as well. So, I'm glad um, we're doing the drains and everything now. Wow, we've got more. I can hear it all coming. Whoa! <laughs> That's another flood! <laughs> Right, that reminds me of me holding my hat and everything. <laughs> right, if we get to Sligo, I'll let you know when I get there. Car row now, just on the outskirts of Sligo. This is where my daughter um, went to school here. Very fond memories. So it's a lovely spot. West Life House is just down the road down there. Um, which part, which one was that? Shane? Yeah, Shane out of West Life, Shane Finan. He used to live down the road. Right, this is the retail park. It's this um, Harry Norman's um, PC Wills up here still. I'm not quite sure actually. Curry's, Home Store and Moore, Smith's. Maxu, is that another pet shop? Ooh. Ooh, there's another pet shop there. Which one do you want to go to? Do you know what we'll try the new one, see what it's like? 
we've got a um, pet stop down there and everything but I'm going to try this other one I've not been to that one yet well Christmas is on its way so I'm going in Maxu to see if I can get a dog bed for Buzz look at this oh my god it's tiny aren't they now for them a bed for Buzz I need a big bed because he's such a large dog so we'll see what we, we can get now oh, we've got some beds here so we're going to see the price <laughs> well, let's see. Let's see what prices are. Hundred and ninety nine. A hundred and ninety nine. I might be making one. He might not be getting a bed. <laughs> See what the colours are doing. As Vincent said, let's go into Harry Norman's. It's Harvey Norman's. I said it wrong. <laughs> Maybe he's got a brother. You never know. He's got another one. So we're in Harvey Norman's beautiful place. Need lots of money. We're just laughing. We thought it might be cheaper to buy Buzz. A settee and buy him a dog bed from the pet shop. I think he'd just about fit on this one. It's only a two seater and it's a big, he's a big dog. <laughs> right, just bought myself a gimbal because I need this stuff obviously to do in YouTube because uh, I can't keep holding the phone. <laughs> uh, so I'm going in the home store and more now to look for a dog bed for Buzz because I mean, they're over 200 from 100 to 200 and the other one. So I'm going to have a look in here. Mm, all the Halloween stuff. <laughs> Get another one to frighten Vincent. <laughs> They're good. They're really good, these. Look at that. Look at these ones here. Wow. I have to keep talking with the music on. I forgot about that. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's scary. No, I don't like them. They're a bit too a bit too spooky, a bit too scary. Let's see what's around here. I'm gonna start doing more arts and crafts in here. So we can do all this with Casey. I love doing those sort of things. Yeah, it's quite a few bits. That's not too in the glue. That craft glue is brilliant. Look at the size of the buttons. Yeah, I really do like that. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, it's quite surprised. I've got quite a few bits. Yeah, that's looking really good. Unfortunately, you know, dog beds, they must have sold them all, just all the Halloween stuff. So I'm going to try another pet shop. Right, so I'm going in pet stuff now to see what bears are like. Right, so looking at the beds. So he needs a real big bed. Um, let's see now. Got some lovely, lovely beds. I think they're really big ones in here. Yeah. Well, that's a big bed. That's uh, that's not too bad, there's no price on it though. It's good quality, it's nice and heavy. I wonder what that is. Let's have a look. Um, right. Yeah, there's quite a selection. Some just looking. Okay. Oh, that one's a hundred. So you'd be paying about a hundred anyway for a bed by the looks of it. Oh, it's nothing cheap these days. I suppose 50 euros is nothing. That's like 35 pump in the old days. So I suppose. Yeah, I suppose that's the way it's going. That's a, that's a good bed. 
Christ is love. Oh, wait, 179. Yes, it looks like no matter what, what beds are we looking at, they're all going to be 100 and more. Look at that. <laughs> my, my, it matched my clothes. So I'm going to get him a postman's leg. We used to call them. I don't know if they still call Yeah, they still call him that person's leg. So he's going to have a treat because he's got to keep still. He can't walk around on that leg. So I'll get him a couple of them. Um, let's see what else they've got. They've got a good selection of stuff for him. So that's great. It's more for pets now, isn't it? Food shopping, clothes shopping, beds. Yeah, just going in Costa for a coffee now. I think we need one after seeing the price of the dog beds. <laughs> well, just sitting down for me um, cappuccino. Um, it's coconut milk and it cost me five pounds. <laughs> just come out of the retail park after our coffee and our small, our small purchases. <laughs> a quick glimpse of this. Vincent bought me a gimbal. Now, it's beautiful scenery coming into Sligo. This is Pierce Road, so we come up to the lights. That's the um, the grounds where they do the, the GA on the pitch and everything. Right, this is the race course um, track. I'll show you the entrance. This is where King Charles, well, when he was Prince Charles, um, came there a couple of years back. He came round to Sligo. So this is the entrance to the race course, Sligo Races. So this boat, you can get on it at Parks' Castle and it goes across the lake and it brings you into Sligo. Now you can get off the boat down here, um, this river, when we're coming down to the bottom here, we'll see the river. Uh, it's a Garvogue, isn't it? The Garvogue River. Um, it takes you into Loch Gill Lake. So in there, the boat lands there. It's quite a big boat. You can have drinks on it and all sorts. That's mainly in the summer. And you can come in Sligo from there, do shopping, or go for a walk or a tour or whatever you want to do. Or you can stay on it and go back. But they will pick you up and take you back again. So again, we're just coming into Sligo. Um, now, Sligo is classed as a city because we've got a cathedral as well. And I will take you into Sligo uh, Cathedral to show you at Christmas time. They do a beautiful um, display and the crib with everything. All the old cottages and the cathedrals round um, further up around the bend. We'll see the cathedral in a minute. Sorry for the footage. Can't wait to use my new gimbal. <laughs> So that's the Hawkswell Theatre coming up on our right. They do great um, theatre and music and all sorts, and especially for Christmas for the children. The theatre there is fantastic. We'll see if I can get case and booked in for one night. So this is the cathedral, Sligo Cathedral. Beautiful church, beautiful cathedral, I should say. Um, we're heading to the main carriageway so we can cut through to get a spark plug for the cement mixer. So this is the carriageway they did quite a few years ago. So further down we come to the docks and um, the sea is to the left and the town is to the right. And there is a picture of Yates, a painting on a house. We've got the gimbal. Isn't that fantastic? I mean, there's some brilliant artists out there. Hostel as well. For anyone travelling, backpacking. I suppose it's a cheap place to stay.
Wow, just pulled up to get the spark plug for uh, Vincent. I mean, the day's nearly gone. It's three o'clock nearly now. And it's a higher place here. And we've got like a cherry picker, which is brilliant because that would get into our garden, no problem. And then you've got the stand supports for when you're doing the work because we need to chop some there. Uh, well, we need to top trees and we've really got to get them done. Um, we've done some of them. Uh, a couple of years ago, but we couldn't get that high. You know, it's not so safe with ladders and stuff, but that'd be ideal, depending on how much they want to hire it out for. Oh, it'd be brilliant, that. I'm really excited about that. Let's see now if, um, if we can hire that. Dead excited about that one. <laughs> Okay, we've left Sligo now, so we're on our way home. Uh, it's still raining. It's about 20 past three in the afternoon now. So we've had a day off from doing manual work on the house and everything, but I'm tired for having a day off. And it doesn't feel like a day off in one sense because we've been going around the shops, a couple of shops, and we've looked into a few things so now we're on our way home so we've done what we needed to get done in Sligo and it's about 20 past three now so and it's still raining so I couldn't have done anything outside anyway as you know li uh, lime and sand and wet weather it would just be a waste of time so we're coming up to Balnagar church and there's a hall there and I'll be there later on this evening because it's Pilates night. Just the local hall is there and that's where they do Pilates. Great night. The mist coming down, you can't see the mountains or anything. It's just, uh, just very misty all together. This is one that this is the lane that we go down to go to our house. Further down, we'll just turn off and we're home. Get home for a nice cup of tea. That'd be lovely. Looking forward to that. Over and out. Uh, hi, just wanted to show you before I went in, it's still raining. Uh, this is the grass plant that I dried. You can see so. You want to cut the cut these stalks off before they die off. So if you were going to do that, you'd cut it a month or two ago, um, and then put them in the shed to dry out. The grass plant. Uh, some years I get quite a few stalks off it. This year I even seem to have got um, one. I'm just going to flip it round so you can see properly. There you go, now you can see that in the light. So it's just one stalk from there. So that's the plant. I'll, I'll put the name up on the uh, screen for you because I can't remember exactly what it's called. I've, there's a red one there as well. And I've got another one there. 